1.5, use problem solving strategies and models. Okay, so us math teachers are always trying to kill you with word problems, so enjoy that comic there. Let's try and make them not so difficult. Let's approximate your average speed given the following information. So say that you're going from San Francisco to San Diego and you go to Google Maps and you type it in and you see that it takes 8 hours and 25 minutes and your distance that you go is 501.6 miles. So how are you going to find your average speed? So what is the formula we just learned that's relating distance, rate, and time? Distance equals rate times time. All right, and so your distance, well, we're approximating this, so we went 501.6 miles, that's about 500. And our rate, well, they asked us to find our average speed, that's what we're trying to find. And the time, we went eight hours and 25 minutes. Again, we're doing an approximation, so let's just round that to 8.5 hours. All right, so how are we going to solve this? I shouldn't have put that dot. They all look the same now. All right, that's better. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's divide both sides by 8.5, divide by 8.5, and what do I get? 58.824 rounded to three decimal places. But that's not going to be accurate, really, to three decimal places. We're approximating. So let's just say that our rate is about approximately... 59, and what are our units? Miles per hour. Miles per hour, and the reason for that, of course, is that this 500 was measured in miles, and the rate, this 8.5, we said was how many hours we had traveled. Okay, next example. The table shows the number of seats in each of the first four rows of an auditorium. The remaining 10 rows follow the same pattern. Find the number of seats in the last row. So what kind of pattern do you see going on here? Well, I look at the top and it's changing by one row at a time. Mm -hmm. And when I look at the bottom, I see it's changing by two seats as each row increases. Okay, so we start at 12 and then we go up two from there. I know I already have 18 seats mm -hmm. and I want to um, find out how many seats I'd have if I went up to row 10. Mm -hmm. Well, I start with the 18 I already have plus to get to row 10 I need six more rows. Because 10 minus I started at the fourth row mm -hmm. and that would have just been six, okay? And there are two seats in every row, so six times two would be the additional number of seats I'd have in the following six rows. And so I get? 18 plus 12, or 30 seats. Hmm, great. What if I wanted to start at the first row? Could I have figured that out? Like if I had started at the 12? I, you could have figured that out if you knew the pattern, yes. Yeah, if we knew the pattern. So 12 plus how many more rows did I have to get to? Then I'd have nine more rows. Nine more of them because, again, we started at the first one now, and that 10 minus the 1 is how we got that 9. All right. And so let's see if we get the same answer. 12 plus 18 is 30. Yeah, so that just reinforced it. Of course, we couldn't have just started the first row. We wouldn't have known the pattern, but you could have started at any of these seats. You could have started at the second one and then added 8 times 2, or you could have started the third one and multiplied by... So we could have started anywhere. All right. You are hanging three pictures on a wall in your home that is 16 feet wide. All right, I'm going to tell you I never start a word problem without drawing. So let's start drawing here. Here's my big wall. And it is 16 feet wide. I'm not going to put any um, units here because I'm going to just make sure that everything is in feet. Okay, 16 feet wide. The width of the pictures are 2, 3, and 4 feet. So here's one picture. Here's the next picture. And here's the next picture. Two, 
two feet, three feet, and four feet wide. You want space between the pictures to be the same and the space to the left and right to be six inches more than between the pictures. Can you guess what just bothered me about that sentence? Well, up till now, everything has been in feet, and now inches are being introduced. And okay. I just said that I didn't even write units because I'm going to write everything in feet. So can you help me replace that? We can make six inches into one half of a foot. Now I'm much happier. All right. And how much space is in between the pictures? Well, we have no idea since that's what we're trying to find, so we let that be our variable x. All right, let's let this space be x, and then this space would also be x, because it says the space between the pictures to be the same, and the space to the left and the right to be half a foot more than between the pictures. So the space over here is going to be half a foot more than it was between the pictures, and the same on the right, right? Mm -hmm. So now, how are we going to figure this out? Well, we know that this whole length here was 16 feet. What else do we know about this whole length? It's this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this. Plus this. So what do we do? Well, if we add up all the x's, we have four of them, so 4x. Okay, I'm going to just write what I just said first. So I just did x plus, you do not need to write this, plus, then we had the 2, then we had the x, then we had the 3, then we had the x, then we had the 4, then we had the x plus 1 half, and that was 16. Now, you didn't ever need to write this step because, as you were just saying, we could have just said, well, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 of the x's. Plus, if we add up the numbers, we get 10. 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 4 is 9, but then we have the 1 half plus 1 half, which is 1 more, plus 10. All right. Equals 16. Now we solve. So now we subtract 10. 4x equals 6. Divide both sides by 4. And we get x equals 3 halves. 3 halves what? 3 halves feet. 3 halves feet. Now, was that what they asked you in the question? No, it was not. It says, how should you place the pictures? So what you want to say is... And I'm going to write up here, all right? There should be one and a half feet between the pictures. There should be one and a half feet, and you could have written three halves feet. I would have been happy with that, too. One and a half feet between the pictures. And there should be two feet left on the sides of the wall. And there should be three halves plus one half would have been two. So there should be two, two feet on the sides of the wall. Mm -hmm. You could have worded that however you wanted, like the first picture should be hung two feet away from the wall and then you should have one and a half feet between the pictures and then you should have left another two feet on the right. That might have been how I would have written it. So however you want to write it is great. And that's it for this lesson. Bye.